Hi, my name is John Paul Raj and I'm on a mission to make the learning of math fun. So if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. On this particular video, I'm going to share something new that I learned very recently about the TN Spy CX2. Let's find out. On one of my earlier videos about the TN Spy CX2, I called it getting started with the TN Spy CX2. I emphasized the importance of the software. I'm talking about this particular software. And I said that, you know what, you'd uh, when you're unpacking your uh, TN Spy CX2 from the box, you'd have got a 30 digit code, okay, a serial code for the software. And many people wrote to me about, you know, what if you have misplaced the software? Uh, many times I go for workshops, I talk about the importance of using the software because, you know, the screen size is large, it's great to do activities. And many students, of course, you know, out of excitement when they had opened the packet, maybe had misplaced the software and there was no solution to that. But recently I saw a comment on my, uh, on that same video, okay, it was by TI Australia. I can't find the comment. I don't know whether the comment got deleted or for some reason, I, I can't seem to trace that comment, but they mentioned the one thing that I remember that they mentioned something about, have you checked out the browser? That's it. I could not figure out what they were trying to say. But thank you so much TI Australia for watching that video of mine, for commenting on that video and for guiding me to this game changer. Now, this is the software. This is what we normally use, even if you have to upgrade the operating system of the uh, handheld, right? But that's why there were problems when students could not, you know, find their trace, their serial code or did not have access to a software. But now there is another way and I'm going to show you that way. So that's through the web browser, through the website. So we're just going to go to the website. Okay. Now this is where I will type education.ti.com. So education.ti.com. This normally takes you to the US site. Okay. Can you see this thing? It says site US and Canada, all right? So here's where we go and we uh, look for all the downloads. Um, I've shown these things in that video also, okay? So if you go to TI and Spy CX updates, uh, my internet is slow. Oh, there you go. It'll show you the um, the latest software, the operating system, okay? It's 5.3 for the CX2. And uh, my handheld, I don't have a camera to show what's I, what I can see on my screen, but my handheld is also out of date right now. So I need to update this because I normally use the software. I don't use the handle as much, but I can't see anything new. You know, normally whenever they advertise something new on the on the website, you know, you can see it highlighted, right? And there's something new happening. Uh, new things are highlighted here. This is the US website, okay? Uh, the site is US and Canada, North America. But here, when you go on that site, you can change it to the different regions, okay? So you've got North America there, Middle East and Africa is here. And my country, India, should be somewhere. Where are we? We are in Asia Pacific, yeah? So we are here in India, okay? But if I go to TI Australia website, and I go there very often because they've got some fantastic resources, okay? But here, if I go on teachers, okay? Watch this, okay? You have to go to the teachers and the senior curriculum inspiration. When I go here, let me click that. There, there's something new here, new. All right. This, I could not find it on the US website. Maybe it is there. Maybe it is in some other layer. Like, you know, I have to go somewhere. I tried. I looked for it. I could not find it. If uh, someone can correct me and post it on the comments where it is on the US website, that'll be great. But the only way I found to go about doing this thing, because this is a game changer. Okay. For those of you who have misplaced that serial code for your uh, software, uh, this is this is a game changer, okay? So keep watching, all right? So you have to come to the teacher section and I said senior curriculum inspirations. There's something called new, it says transfer files to your computer using the web browser. That means using the using the internet, this website, okay? So without the TI software, you can still do a lot of magic, watch. So I'm gonna click that and it will open another page and it says, let's get started. So this uh, site out here, inspireconnect.ti.com and whatever that says. I think there's a hash uh, tag there. I'm going to link that uh, in the description box below. Please go ahead and take a look at it, okay? So it says, uh, connect your T-Inspire CX2 graphing calculator to your computer using the USB cable, okay? Now, when you open this thing, hopefully you still have the cable, but if you do not have the cable, you should be able to find that similar cable. It's a data cable, okay? There are only two ports on the head here. This one is what we use for the navigator. So, you know, it's only in the classroom if you've got a navigator, if your uh, school has a navigator, this one is for that. Otherwise, as a student, uh, you will only use this other port. So it's a cable that connects one end here. The other end is a USB, a normal standard USB that connects straight to the laptop, okay? And maybe this is another thing that I'd like to request TI. If you're watching this video, 
please try and get for the new updated uh, uh, laptops with the USB-C because that was the USB 2 and a USB 3 model, I think. So now I have connected here. Okay, so I'm just going to hit this connect to calculator. And it says uh, wants to connect. So it's already recognizing that my handle is connected. I just go ahead and connect it. And uh oh, there's a problem. It says another instance of TN spare CX2 connect is running or USB is in use with TN spare CX2 calculator with another application. Oh, it's because of my software. Is, is that what it's saying? So let me just, I'll have to, uh, is that the reason? This is also happening here. So let me just see if I can close that. Okay, one sec. Uh, okay, I'm going to shut down that application. Okay. All right. Will it change things for me? Let's reload and find out. Okay. Connect. It says paired this time. All right. So that means you cannot have your software on if you have the software also when you are trying to access this uh, website using the cable. I just found out. Okay. Now look at this. The screen capture. You're connected to the browser. This is the website. Okay. And you can do the screen capture, the same screen capture that you have done with the software. Okay. So let's see if you want to capture the screen. Do I have something open here? Uh, let's see if I go to my current document. Yes, I've got a box and whisker plot. So I'll just say screen capture. Watch this, okay? I say screen capture. And you can't see anything here. All right. But believe me, this magic is going to happen. So I'll just say capture screen. And there you go. Voila. And the other beautiful thing is that you can copy this. You can copy it. See, and just click that. It says copied. And once that is copied, you can paste it on any application. If you're uh, on a Microsoft Word or something like that. There you go. I've just copied and pasted on my one note. Just like that. Okay. And you can resize it here. Whatever document you're working on, there you go. It is off the browser. Isn't it insane? All right, let's get back to that and see what all is possible. I can even download it. Okay, I can download that file. Uh, it's probably a JPEG file or some image file. Or I can save it straight onto Google Drive. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Okay, then you can even transfer files as you can see. All right, you can transfer file. That means you can transfer file from here to the laptop or from the laptop to your handheld okay so even that is possible so this is the second option if i go here all right can you see this from the calculator or from the handheld to the oh from the calculator to the calculator maybe i have to change this thing here so if i say from the calculator all right i don't have any documents here okay and you can see that this is happening from the calculator to the system to my laptop i can even choose this thing you know it can go straight to google drive or to the computer now, I, I don't have any files here. Most of my files are on the software. I use the software a lot more than the handheld. I hardly actually use the handheld, by the way. So you can actually transfer documents from here straight to your system or to Google Drive. That's that's fancy, all right? And what is this? If I click this one, okay, this is to, to the handheld, okay? So that one is from the handle to the system, and this is transferring files from Google Drive, let's say you had a TNS file sitting in Google Drive, you know, your teacher sent it to you, you can drive, uh, transfer it from there straight to here. I don't have anything like that, but I could do that something from my computer. If I go there, if I click this and if I make my way to say activities where I have all these TNS files, I can actually pull out the one on composite functions and say open and I say, all right. And it says composite functions. Uh, oh, it's already sent. Really? Oh yeah, it says, yeah, I wish I had another camera just to point. It just says document received and I just have to say uh, open. I can say open, I can say go, go to that particular document. What is go to? Let me just see what is go to. Okay, it goes to that particular where it's saved, okay, that particular folder, all right? So some other video or when I have another camera, you know, to show what's going on in the handle screen, I can show that to you. But this is really wonderful that you can now transfer documents from your handheld to the system or to your computer, your laptop or from your laptop, even if it's on a Google Drive, to your handheld. This is brilliant. Thank you so much, TI, for doing this thing, all right? And now I have hit back. Now watch this. I think this is the game changer. OS update, operating system. Earlier, we were not able to update uh, the operating system without the software, right? We needed the software, and those of us who did not have the software or misplaced that code, that serial code, were stuck. Now, you just need this cable. And even if you don't have the cable, you can actually get this cable, all right? This is a very standard cable, all right? This data cable with a USB, you can get that. But TI, yeah, if you're watching this video, we'd like an update on the cable also. If it's a direct USB-C, that'll, that'll be great, okay? So you can see that my current operating system on my handle is 
5.1.3.73 and the latest one is 5.3.2. So I'm just going to say update and said, please do not unplug your calculator from your computer or close this window until the update is finished. After your calculator has received the new OS file, it will disconnect from your computer and reboot to finish the installation. So this is going to take some time. I'm not going to wait till that update is done. I'm just going to say this is an amazing game changer. So for those of you who do not have your software or have lost that uh, serial code, there is a way out and you need to really thank TA for this update. But remember, it's on the Australia website. So you need to make your way there and then and only then you can make use of this amazing feature. If you found this video useful, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. I'm going to see you all in the next video.